Hi, I'm Krishna Panika, Skype's product manager for Mac. We're excited to announce that we've removed the beta label and launched the official new version, Skype 5 for Mac. I'd like to say thank you to all of you who sent us feedback on the beta. And I'm going to talk you through some of the improvements we've made in the latest version. First off, thank you for all of the positive feedback on group video calling. It's now available as part of our premium package that includes live chat customer support. You can try it out for the first time with a seven day free trial and then purchase either a day pass or a monthly subscription from there. Something we heard loud and clear was that you felt that the app was too big, whether it was the window size, contact list, or the way instant messages were displayed. The good news is that we've slimmed things down in the new version. We've tightened up the contact list so that you can see 30% more contacts at once. And we've reduced the amount of white space in the sidebar too. We've also reduced the minimum window size so that those of you who prefer to keep Skype to one side of your screen, for example, can do that more easily. In addition, we've tweaked the way instant messages are displayed to allow you to see more of your conversations without scrolling. Most of you will know that you can use Skype to make calls to landlines and mobiles, but some of you have said that it was difficult to find the dial pad. In this version, we moved it up to the toolbar to make it easy to find. You'll be happy to know that we've brought back full screen mode in video calls. When you're in a call, click the button to switch to full screen mode and click it again to return the call to the Skype window. It's also easier to chat while you're on a call. Just click the button to reveal the chat panel and click it again to hide. Thank you again for all your feedback. These improvements should help make the Skype experience on the Mac even better. Please keep the comments coming in. There will be regular updates and we value your thoughts. For now, go ahead and download the latest version of Skype for Mac at skype.com.